Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to me and you, King Mac Lex, and having a good time. In case you couldn't tell, I don't know. Uh, I'm British. I'm from the UK. I was born in England. I'm. I'm I know the Queen. I don't. But I was thinking because I've seen a bunch of people do these, and I thought, huh, wouldn't that be interesting? Oh, actually, I don't think I've actually seen any of the videos. I keep seeing that they exist and then going. Eh, and not clicking on them. But this time I was like, hey, maybe it'll be interesting. So, British citizen tip. So I think to get into a country, you have to take this test, I think. Yeah, help migrants prepare for British citizen test. So if you want to migrate to a country, you have to take the test to make sure that you know about the country. I don't really know why. I don't know what that's for exactly. I guess so that you do your research before you go into a country. I don't know, this isn't about politics, this is just about seeing if I know my own country. This is a um, a practice test, like a like a past paper. <laughs> Which of the following was a crown dependency but not part- is a crown dependency but not part of the UK? Shetland, Isles of White- White? It's spelled like that? It's spelled white. What? Isles of White? It's like white as in- as in white. What? Oh, my life is falling apart. Anglesey, I think. Is the BBC controlled by the government? <laughs> if it's not, then it kind of is. Um, I'm not sure if it actually is. I'm gonna go with officially no, I think. Let's check. Yeah, but I mean, uh, how many members does Northern Ireland Assembly have? Uh, I don't know about Northern Ireland. I don't know about Ireland. Okay, uh, how many members assembly? What do they mean by assembly? 60? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have, a, I have a time limit? Oh god, oh no. <laughs> Who was in charge of the British fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar? Um, Oliver Cromwell, Duke of Wellington, Robert the Bruce. Who's Robert the Bruce? Arnold Nelson. Ard Oliver Cromwell. What? No! Trafalgar. Does he mean like Trafalgar as in... Oh, but Oliver Cromwell was someone, right? <laughs> he was- I've definitely talked about him in history, we definitely learnt about him in history. Okay, who was inscribed in first coins to be minted in Britain during the Iron Age? The names of the Iron Kings, the names of Iron Age gods, names of trees, names of animals. Iron Age Kings, because we don't- we didn't have Iron Age gods, that would have just been God. No, actually, wait, wait, when was Iron Age? Before. That was before Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, when did Christianity first start? It wasn't like Jesus was born and then Christianity was also started at the same time. When did people start, like, thinking... So, kings. Yeah, we've always, we've always been very into our kings and our queens, but mostly kings. <laughs> okay, towns, cities, and rural, and rural areas in the UK are governed by government-appointed officials. No, we elect our own officials. Sort of. Like, we... False, I think. I'm not sure. People hand us leaflets sometimes and that's for us to vote on. Yeah, if the government did it, we wouldn't have to have leaflets. <laughs> Who, where is the Tate Art Gallery located? Glasgow, Cardiff, London, Belfast. Hang on, where's the Tate? Tate River is in not London. Glasgow? What? No! Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, yeah, we don't look at a lot of art stuff. Oh, I know, I went there for my 11th birthday, I think. The version of the Bible created by King James I is known as Authorised Version, Reinformed Version, Approved Version, Unique Version. Uh, King James I, he created a little bit of his own religion so that he could divorce his wife because that's against the Christians, against the Christian, against the Bible. Um, authorised, Reformed, I don't know with Reformed, that sounds like a good word. Ah, damn it, authorised. Yeah, I've only known it as like the King James Version. Okay, what is the period of the 1960s known for? Downgrading manufacturing, a growth of British fashion and pop music, a shortage of water, blockage of social laws. Wait, that was when Elvis was around, so that was like the start of pop music, right? Yeah, yeah. Between 1680 and 1720, many refugees called H H Huguenot, I, I can't pronounce that, came to England. Which country did they come from? Pakistan, Germany, India, or France? Um, if that doesn't sound French or Indian or German, I'm gonna go Pakistan. Oh, France. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm pronouncing it in my head wrong, and that's why it doesn't sound French. Okay. What is the most famous tennis? Ten what is the fo most famous tennis tournament played in the UK? Wimbledon. They were in. They were quite close to us recently. I think. MPs can only be contacted 
at the office in the House of Commons. That is false, right? Yeah. What is the day when jokes are published in newspapers and telecasts in the T- what? Jokes. Well, April Fool's Day is when you're supposed to joke, right? <laughs> yeah, April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day is in lots of countries, so that's not like a UK thing. Which Scottish king defeated the English in the Battle of Bannock Burn? Bannock Burn. Oh, we don't learn about the times where we didn't win. <laughs> Okay, which King Charles the First, King James the First, Admiral Nelson, Robert the Bruce? I can imagine Robert the Bruce being a Scottish king. I'm going with Robert the Bruce. Check. Yes, Robert the Bruce. <laughs> Who invented the World Wide Web? Sir Tim Berners-Lee, Sir Peter Mansfield, Sir I Ian Wilmot, Sir Robert Edwards. Robert, right? Oh man. How are civil servants appointed and what local party do they belong to? They are chosen on merit and form part of the Liberal Democrats party. They are chosen randomly and form part of the Conservative party. They are chosen randomly and are politically neutral. They are not chosen- they are chosen on merit and are politically neutral. They are chosen on merit and supposedly political neutral. Yeah. I have a feeling that most things aren't actually politically neutral. What is known as the Dunkirk spirit? Uh, okay, so the Dunkirk was bad. <laughs> uh, when German Air Force bombed London, no evacuation of Allied soldiers, France, France, yeah, when the new social class back there, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we're close, we're close, we've got 24. Okay, uh, you have to be at least 21 years old to serve on a jury. Um, I know you, you don't, you have to be, we don't have, we, we, our, our like age for adultness is 18 rather than 21 uh, so I'm gonna go with false because I reckon it's probably 18 yeah if you wish to be a permanent resident or citizen in the UK you should choose two answers you should choose two answers respect the rights of others including their rights to their own opinions <laughs> buy a house in the UK no look after yourself and your family marry a British citizen um these ones because not a lot of people own houses and you don't that would be bad. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Which of the following major sports event took place in the UK in 20 oh, 2012? Uh, I was six. Wait, hang on, was it? Yeah, six. So I have no idea. Uh, Olympics? Yeah. Oh yeah, because of that thing, Majiggy. The uh, the the because of the Doctor Who episode. <laughs> Charles and I believe in the divine rights. Charles the first believed in the divine rights of kings, so he tried to rule without Parliament, to rule with the approval of Parliament. Nope. To rule to raise money for part. Nope. To restore Catholicism in Britain. He probably tried to rule without Parliament. Charles the first. Yeah, was he the one that got beheaded? Yeah. Uh, what is the Union Jack? The flag of Commonwealth, the flag of the United Kingdom, yeah. The flag used by British Knights, a trade union to protect workers' rights. Flag of the British Union. Who was voted the greatest Brit- Who was voted the greatest Britain of all time in 2012? The greatest Britain? What? <laughs> Mo Farr, um, Admiral Nelson, Admiral Nelson again. Winston Churchill, Clarence Lee. Winston Churchill wasn't there, wasn't around in 20. Oh, two. I don't really know who the rest of these people are. I'm gonna go with Admiral Nelson because we- What? Wait, was he still alive in 2002? Things happen a long time ago and I think they happen way further along than I think they do. Which of the following statements is true? Women in Britain today make up about half the work workforce. Men in Britain today make up about one quarter of the workforce. Um, I would be surprised if it's half, so I'm gonna go with a quarter. Oh wow, cool. <laughs> oh wait, what, what did I get? Hang on, how many did I get right? I need to write this down, this is important. Okay, uh, paper. I've run out of biros and it's really annoying. Okay, uh, okay, I got 15 out of 24, which, well, how many do I need? I really have no idea how much I need. I'd say 15 out of 24 isn't too bad. I'd be pleased if I got that on a math test. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try the American one because I've I've only got 14 minutes of content out of this, so we better. <laughs> okay, we elect president after how many years? Four, because that's the same as UK. The House of Pre Representatives has how many voting members? Um, uh, that one. Damn it. Which one was not a cabinet level position? Secretary of the Interior, Secretary of Energy, Secretary of Communication, Secretary of Agriculture, uh, Energy. Communications? Well, countries that Brazil, yes, does not have a secretary. Why not? Maybe that's why you're so bad at communicating. 
Sorry, this is not supposed to be like hating on America, except it kind of is. Okay, who is in charge of the executive branch? The president, chief justice, speaker of the house, majority whip. Whip. Uh, ex in charge of the executive branch, speaker of the house. Damn it. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> well, he's got what four days now? No, five. Four days. I think it's four. I think it's four days. Which war wasn't fought by the United States in the 1980s? It's Afghanistan War, Vietnam War, Korean War, World War One. Uh, they were in World War One. They were in the Afghanistan. Korean War. What? No! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, uh, what is, the, what is the name of the national anthem? American anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> God bless America, War of Honor. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, I know, I'm gonna go with War of Honor. What? What? Really? <laughs> no way. Uh, what piece of land did the United States buy from France in 1803? Puerto Rico, Hawaii, the Louisiana Territory, Alaska. The Louisiana... Puerto Rico... Ah, damn it. How many US Senators are there? 50, 200, 100, 145, 135, 135, 4, 3... 4, Oh god. Um... 200? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 200. Damn it! <laughs> when is the last day you can send in federal in in tax in income tax forms? March 15th, April 21st, April 15th, May 1st. April f Yes! <laughs> that was a complete yes. Where, where did the United States fight in World War II? Germany and Italy, Vietnam, Germany and Italy, North Korea, Germany, Japan, Japan, Germany and Italy. Who did we fight? Because we were, we were next to America, we kind of, we were, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, <coughs> uh, definitely Germany, but Germany's in all of these. I don't think North Korea, really, I don't know, Vietnam, def well, Vietnam has, a, oh, has its own war, right, because there was the Vietnam War, so I don't know if that, it's trusting Italy, because I didn't know Italy was not on our side. I'm gonna go North Korea- no, it wouldn't have been- uh, uh, that one? Yes! <laughs> Three out of ten! I fa I failed the US version test. You would have a chance to take it one more time. Oh, cool! <laughs> so, basically, I'm British, not American. <laughs> we already knew that. I don't know what the point of this video was, but it was fun, and I wanted to make something nice and fun to edit, so, that's what I did. Okay, leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you didn't, and I will see you very soon with another video, with another, with, with another video, apparently we're going with that. Okay, bye!